Madden 22. Franchise. <coughs> All X's deep dive. Is this the same trailer? Oh, nah. Okay. I'm about to say. Because they showed this on the, on the actual trailer, so. Let's see. Zach Wilson. Show some rookies. Hey, everyone. Connor Dugan here. Senior Design Director on Madden NFL 22. Super excited to be here with you today to share some of the awesome work our teams are doing, specifically on Franchise and Madden 22. Get ready, because we're about to go deep. Some new franchise features that we'll talk about today include franchise staff and new staff points, the importance of weekly strategy and the integration of dynamic game day on next-gen consoles, an enhanced season engine, franchise hub updates, tuning, and more. With new franchise staff... So they added coordinators. It's the same as a designer. They added coordinators. Um... Okay, I mean, it's cool. I see nothing wrong with that. I'm assuming coordinators come with their own perks and stuff as well. Um, I see nothing wrong with that. Uh, obviously, the biggest thing is the gameplay, but I guess this makes the uh, franchise experience a little bit more immersed. I don't play franchise as much as I used to, so I wouldn't even be able to say too much about it. He said, I get to fire John Gruden. I mean, he's a head coach. You, you could have been fired him. But. <laughs> I guess it's cool. I guess it's cool. Let me see what else they got to say about it. Staff, you're in control of everything from the front office to the field. Franchise staff is meant to empower you to build, grow, and customize your coaching staff using a new RPG talent tree system. So you can build a team that fits your play style. There will be more than Okay. Now this could be a, a pretty cool concept, I'm not gonna lie. System. So you can build a team that fits your play style. There will be more than 60 different talents to choose from at launch, with more to be added via our Madden 22 franchise live service plan. Plus, the number one most requested improvement by our players to franchise is. I ain't gonna lie. This has been in the last two Maddens. Plus, the number one. On the sideline, listening to coach. Coach give the play. Most requested improvement by. Jaw got on, onto the field just like this. I just cool that they added these uh, things in the back of the. Uh, I forget what they call. In the back of the helmet. But yeah, the same little animation right here been in the last two Maddens. I just add new animations. At least make the game, even if the gameplay is the same, at least make it feel like it's different. You know what I'm saying? Our players to franchise is scouting. We're targeting September for the release of scouting through a live service update. Madden 22's revamped scouting feature will allow you to manage and assign your scouting staff with all new national and regional. So you have a scouting staff. That's pretty detailed, I'm not gonna lie. 15% efficiency boost when scouting a position. 5% efficiency boost when scouting a position. Uh huh. That's pretty cool. Scouts. We'll have a whole new you know what the problem is? What? system for uncovering details about your prospects. We'll have a whole new and much more. Top five projection, scrambler, physical improviser, speed rusher. Mm. They know we are going to buy the game anyway, so I feel like they don't care. I, I mean, obviously, it's a lot of people still going to buy the game. I ain't going to lie. I, I am. It's my, it's, you know, I already established that, you know. I'm a, I play Madden. I'm going to get Madden. But uh, overall, yeah, we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see more in-depth system for uncovering details about your prospects and just like real life players will move up and down the draft board all season long we'll have more to share on scouting later in the summer why do you got bingles drafting the qb your franchise staff is made up of four positions i'm nitpicking, Head coach, I'm nitpicking. an offensive and a defensive coordinator 
and a player personnel department. Now I bet you're wondering about those new staff points we mentioned at the top. Staff points can be earned weekly by setting goals, playing your games, and completing objectives. Then you can use staff points to upgrade your staff through coach talents. Easy, right? Next up, weekly strategy and dynamic game day integration. Each week in the NFL presents a new challenge for players, coaches, teams, and fans. Weekly strategy and Madden Players, coaches, teams, and fans. Weekly strategy in Madden 22 is designed to mimic the dynamic environment while offering you the chance to confront and overcome various challenges in different ways. In essence, weekly strategy is. I see. Different ways. The chance to confront. 56% completion rate percentage that's pretty cool how they show that so you can see what well, it'd be cool if you see this for every individual player i'm not gonna lie so you know who to target deep passer rating so he gets burnt deep medium passing 79.1 so he get work deep on deep passes medium passes he cover <laughs> okay okay and overcome various challenges in different ways. In essence, weekly yeah, it'd be cool if they showed that for every player, so you know who, who you can really just who you play, target and abuse. When you play, all matter more than ever. Through next gen stats and the dynamic game day integration, you'll be able to study your opponent's strengths and weaknesses with detailed statistical and play calling info. Oh, I like that. I like that. This is stuff that 2K has had in their game for a while. Like it show you the the player that you're playing against online. It show you their tendencies and stuff that they do. Madden should have been integrated stuff like that. Two K been doing that for years. Play calling tendencies run fifty eight percent past forty two percent. Strengths and weaknesses with detail. Team defense stats thirty point eight, thirty eight point one percent blitz rate. Uh, allow 102.6 rating. I'm assuming passer rating 68.1% completion percentage or average 30 yards. Well, I don't know actually. I don't know the details with this, but blitz rate that's pretty interesting. So, I tell you, they blitz a decent amount. You know what I'm saying 2K now helping Madden create the game since last year. Is that right? Are you, are you serious? Or are you just you just you saying that? statistical and play calling info like directly or indirectly Manage your team's fatigue levels throughout the season by controlling practice intensity and reps between game days okay plus you can assess your first half performance as extremely detailed adjustments at halftime and come out of the locker room better prepared for the second half because when game day happens you can never be too ready here are some additional details on what you can expect to see in weekly strategy NFL players. Hold on. I ain't catch all of it. Choose a game plan. Focus on offense and defense each week. And that was in the last one. Focus will identify the top threat on the opposing team. That was in the last one. Focus will utilize next-gen stats and a list of pros and cons about how each carries over into the gameplay. That's new. Select a new weekly team goal that will reward additional staff points. That's new. Since since last year, no, I'm being serious. Uh, that's surprising. NFL players, coaches, and GMs encounter a roller coaster of scenarios every day, every week, all season long. And the enhanced season engine. He's a quarterback, so the first focus always has to be the passing game. That's where the big damage will come from. You focus too much on the game. In Madden 22 was built to emulate these true to life ups and downs of the NFL. Madden 22 will launch with over 35 scenarios and will add more as part of our continued franchise live service commitment. One example is the perfect chemistry scenario. During the season, an elite quarterback can trigger a tiered breakout for a young receiver. As the weeks go on, the challenges get tougher, but the rewards increase 
giving you the chance to take a middling wide receiver and turn them into one of the league's rising stars. I ain't played QB one in like two years, bro. So maybe I'll give this one a shot. Choices, goals, and challenges that lead to meaningful rewards in game. This expansive catalog of narrative driven NFL content will start at launch and continue throughout the year, featuring new choices and challenges that are unique to each story with an impact on both your on field gameplay as well as your off field decision making. We've also completely revamped the franchise hub to make the most important information about your franchise more accessible to you. Some of the updates you will see on the new franchise. I mean, the layout is cool for sure, but, uh, Hub include an activities list that displays what you need to do each week, your goals for the week, so you know what you need to accomplish to earn rewards, an updated news screen that keeps you informed of the top stories and reactions from. This is all pretty, pretty uh. Around the league. Familiar. Faster access to roster management screens like signing free agents, adjusting your depth chart, or trading for players. Okay, this look, actually looks a little cleaner. This is more data to your lead versus hunting for information in your stat screen. Yeah, 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 it actually looks a lot cleaner than uh how they had it before. I said that's actually a little bit nicer. Look at Jamison Crowder leading the league. <laughs> Jamison still with the Jets, right? It looks the same, but more complex. No, actually, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It actually looks simpler. It look a little simpler. Because remember, you have to go to one page. You click on one thing. Then you have to go to team schedule or, or league schedule. It's all right here. And then player stats all right here. I'm saying they, they put it all together. Miles Garrett, 17 sacks. JJ Watt, 14. Khalil Mack, 14. Hey, Bebo Samuel, Josh Jacobs, C Mac Christian, Chris Carson leading the league in rushing. Look at that. Cam Newton leading the league in passing yards. And, okay, Josh Allen with the passing touchdown. Justin Fields. Hmm. And a okay, okay. For your online franchise that is easily accessible. Thanks for spending your time with us to learn more about what's new in franchise in Madden NFL 22. Stay tuned for EA Sports Madden NFL 22 channels for more information on the game ahead of the worldwide launch on August 20th, 2021. Okay. Uh, I got much to say. Like, uh, cause like I don't play franchise that much at all. I might this next year, depending on you know what I'm saying how my internet go. You know what I'm saying if you know you know. But um, it's cool. Just. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna just have to see how it actually plays out. All right, let's see. Uh, there were some people who said they played the beta. Okay, this is interesting. Madden 22, all 32 NFL home field advantages. So every stadium has their own home field so advantage. So Madden 22 beta is out. Where can I find this? So we got the Arizona Cardinals rise up Red Sea Cardinals game momentum kicker. So I wonder, like, so say, I wonder if this is, if you, I remember watching Cookie Boy like four years ago in his comps. Yeah, man. It's, it's a lot, it's still a lot of good uh, man YouTubers out there for sure. It's, it's still something out there. It's a lot that died, died down in their channel. I remember, I forgot what his name was, but he had like 30,000 subscribers and he just stopped, stopped making Madden videos. There's a few guys out there. They just completely, channel's dead now. But, um. That's just how I go. People, you know, life, stuff, things, people, everything just comes and goes. Everything has its time. But um, I wonder if this applies. Like, say I play online and I'm the home team and I pick a different stadium. I wonder if this still applies. But we got Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals gain momentum quicker. So I, I knew that was a thing in Madden. But they just, it's not, it's not something that's actually, uh, recorded. You know what I mean? It's not actually, uh, a stat, but I knew that was a thing in Madden. Cause I just played Caden the other day. I played Caden. I had six fumbles in that game against him. Every drive I fumbled. Every drive I played against him, I fumbled. What's up, Antonio? Every drive I played against him, I fumbled. So I like, the momentum has to be a real thing in the game because it makes no sense. Like how every drive i fumble uh, it just kind of sucked um 
Let's see. Atlanta Falcons rise up. Home team gains bonus momentum on offense. Okay. Baltimore Ravens trust the system. While winning, let's see. While winning, home team has home team gets bonus momentum on running plays. Okay. Okay, okay. Buffalo Bills down win. Away team kick meter moves erratically. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that would be extremely annoying. I ain't gonna lie. Oh no. You saw the same games? Yeah, bro. I, I reacted to it. I'll probably post it on the channel. Is there like a challenge to unlock it during the game? Kind of like an X Factor? Uh, I'm gonna I'm watch Cookie's video to see. Or I'll scroll up to read some more if I need to. Um, Carolina Panthers keep pounding. Home team has more stamina during plays. Huh. So during plays. What does that mean? Just Okay. I would assume all game. Chicago Bears. Bear down. Away team's kick meter moves faster on the downswing. Oh, my God. See, if you're not aware of this stuff, it's going to be extremely weird. You're going to be missing kicks, all type of stuff. Who day? Cincinnati Bengals. No huddle results in reduced clock runoff. Hmm. That's interesting. So you you can just no huddle, no huddle, no huddle, and they like to spread a lot too. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, especially if you like in a two minute drill. Oh yeah, that'd be real useful. Cleveland Browns dog pound. Yeah, Madden twenty two. Um, let's see. Cleveland Browns hot routes in the red zone have a chance to fail. What does that mean? Let me like if I do a, I need some um, a, a explanation for that one. So that that sounds like if I do a hot route, it might not work. A hot route is basically like an audible, right? Basically, like we're well, not audible, but yeah, yeah, it's just you audible one player. So it's actually kind of weird. Dallas Cowboys deflected. Away team's punt distance is shortened if kicking across the fifty yard line. That's actually not a bad thing. You'd be across the 50. I mean, I guess it depends on which side you're looking at it from. Which 50. You know what I mean? Sounds like you have a lower chance to catch it. I mean, yeah, sound maybe maybe it's that for the uh for the hot rough for the dog pound. Maybe it's that you have a lower chance to catch it. Got Denver Broncos mile high. Away team has less stamina for plays. Oh wow. That's actually interesting. It's kind of kind of realistic because you know they so um, above sea level, and it's harder to breathe. That's actually kind of interesting. But it, when it says for plays, like is it specific plays or is it just every play? You know what I mean? I think they need to specify that. Detroit Lions, Motor City, home team accelerates slightly quicker. Mm, that's kind of cool. Green Bay Packers, go pack, go. Momentum gains are increased for the home team. They need to explain how momentum is going to work. I ain't going to lie. The bullpen for the Texans, away team gains less momentum for touchdown. Yeah, they need, they need a little bit more detail. Indianapolis Colts, hat count. Home team defense sees hat count via coach cam. Uh, I'm probably watch cookie video to explain that Jacksonville Jaguars Duval bonus momentum on touchdowns Kansas City Chiefs home of the Chiefs away teams audibles have a chance of failing deck I ain't gonna lie that kind of sucks so if I do an audible it's gonna revert back to my old play you know what I mean that kind of kind of suck I ain't gonna lie. New Madden 22 features. Yes, sir. That is what it is. Las Vegas Raiders just win, baby. When winning, home team has increased momentum, gain, fatigue, recovery. Okay. Okay. I like that. Los Angeles Chargers bolt up. Chargers gain bonus momentum for yardage gains. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. That's, that's reasonable. Rams house, home team has bonus momentum on defensive stops. I like that one for the Rams. Miami Dolphins, home team fatigue is slower. So it takes them uh 
a little longer to get tired. Minnesota Vikings skull home team is slightly faster in the red zone. Mm. Okay, okay. I guess it's I guess it's cool. It's kind of useful. New England Patriots, our house, home team gains bonus momentum on touchdown and third down stops. Hmm. Okay. Who that's? New Orleans Saints. Away team receivers can mistakenly get incorrect routes on third and fourth downs. Oh my gosh. I ain't gonna lie, some of this stuff I would hate. I'd be so annoyed. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Oh, I wonder what, what was the inspiration behind this one. New York Giants turf war away team fatigues quicker. New York Jets turf war away team fatigues quicker. So you got the same same thing. So what are you playing? The Jets versus Giants. They both fatigue quick. <laughs> so then it's even. It cancels each other out. Um, Eagles. LinkedIn momentum gains increase for home team, decrease for away. Uh, that, that's that's a solid one. Like I said, they still need to elaborate uh, the momentum effect and how it works. Pittsburgh Steelers terribly distracting. Away teams' hot routes have a chance of failing on third and fourth downs. Man, that would be so annoying. San Francisco 49ers unstable ground. Away team has an increasingly hard time changing directions. So they when they run routes and stuff and or you running with the ball, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is gonna be so annoying. It has to do with the Saints versus Rams, I feel it. What happened with the Saints versus Rams? You talking about in the playoffs? That that playoff game, maybe? I don't know. Some of these are a little iffy, yeah. Seattle Seahawks, the twelves. Away team has distorted play on third and fourth downs. Wow. Buccaneers fire the cannon. Home team recovers fatigue upon entering red zone. Okay. I, I like that one. That's, that's, that's solid. Tennessee Titans tighten up. Home team has improved blocking, avoids holding penalties. I, 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 don't, gonna, I don't see nothing wrong with that. Washington football team, unstable ground. Away team has an increasingly hard time changing directions. They got the same one as the 49ers. That one's going to be tough. I think they gave him that because of the uh, front sevens, maybe. Both of them have really good front sevens. So, when it comes to changing races in the backfield, it's more likely for you to get run stops, maybe. But, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let me see. Uh, let me see Cookie's video. Why the Titans one is broken. I, f I feel like Titan the Titans one isn't that bad. I feel like Titans not that bad. Home team has improved blocking. They got pretty good blocking. And avoids holding penalties. Now, if it's no holding penalties, then that's kind of it. But I mean, it is what it is. That's not bad. It's not too bad. Hot hands. Let me see what it said at the beginning. What is up, everybody? And welcome to some very exciting Madden 22 news I love to share with you guys today. So <laughs> With the real life home field advantage you think about the loud seattle fans the 12s that's going to reflect when you play in seattle you think about the swirling winds in chicago that's going to reflect and you think about the high altitude in denver yeah you better believe denver's home field advantage involves their altitude so you have home field advantages and also like i said some of it's know, reasonable that, and some of it is just like the crowd yeah. going the better that home field advantage goes uh -huh. as well as momentum tiers so the home and the away teams can both participate in the momentum tiers. So it's basically just a bar on top of the scoreboard. And, you know, the better plays you get, first downs, touchdowns, especially in interceptions, the bar will go more up for, you know, the bigger the play, the more the bar will go up. And if you can get it up past your home field advantage to a, what is, I'm calling momentum tier one, then you have a chance to uh, have something happen that can impact the game positively or negatively for your opponents okay as one of the momentum tier ones that i found is called hotter routes where the home team can hot route faster 
I mean, that's pretty cool. Our home or away team, I should say, because the away team can also participate in the momentum boost. And then if you're really rocking and you can get to momentum tier two, like you score back-to-back -to -back touchdowns, you get an interception as well, you can really swing the momentum your side and get momentum tier two, which is the max momentum tier. And you can get something like nerves, it's called, where the home or away team's receiver icons can sometimes be hidden in the pre-play play art. And you, it's kind of like mm -hmm. just hidden. You don't really know. So you really got to know to play your picking because once you go to the, the pre-play and you go to the coach cam, it's like, wait, what is this guy running? So stuff like that can happen as far as momentum. What I'm going to do with you guys is break down all. All right. See, I ain't know nothing about the momentum tiers, but he's playing it pretty well. See, okay, 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 okay. I'm trying to find out the tears. That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, he explained because he said it's, he says a chart for it. Their advantage oh, so that's only see. I look for I, I just search through. I can find it. So I'm assuming that's something probably for uh the people in the beta who 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 played it, who played the beta. So some of the the popular YouTubers. That's what I'm assuming because I don't see nothing about it. If you get a turnover, whatever, momentum swinging in Madden 22. And momentum basically means if you score a TD, if you get a hit stick, if you have a big play, if you get a turnover, whatever, that kind of swings the momentum in either team's direction. And there's a little bar that fills up all the way. Unfortunately, I can't showcase the Madden 22 beta. Yeah, I in figured. The background right now is I just figured. They can't show it. Computer game, so don't pay attention to that. Not really important to the video. But... Basically, the momentum is kind of big. There's a lot of things that change throughout the game. Uh, sometimes you may not be able to actually get the correct audible out there. I actually played the game where I was trying to put a receiver on a streak, and it took me three tries mm. to put him on a streak. Because the first time I tried to put him on a streak, it put him on a slant and then like a corner route, stuff like that, stuff that is definitely going to change the game. There is different things for every single stadium. Some stadiums have similar ones, but we'll get into that. Okay, so... Uh... There's tears to the momentum thing. It's almost like a uh, like when you're playing a fighting game and you're doing combos, combo, 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 or you're getting hits in. Sometimes you take hits, your bar goes up for you to be able to do a special move. And it'll fill up, and then another, it'll fill up again, and it'll fill up again so you could do like your ultimate move. So that's pretty much what that sound like. It's multiple tears that it'll fill up, and you, when you, when, as it fills up, you can do stuff that can affect the game. And then each stadium has their own um, home field advantage that plays their own factor as well. So that's uh, interesting. Um, let me see. I don't think there's much else for me to see, at least for right now. Because... Uh, they explain everything that's like was what probably playing right now man feel from playing like what five six games that i played but just generally speaking it felt a lot similar to madden 21 but like i mentioned everything about the gameplay around the actually playing the game itself completely different love the new play art love the new play calling screens the state so he said but that's crazy i just clicked on this video i don't remember watching this at all it must have just if I, I must have just clicked on it. Or you know how like sometimes like your phone can play. Like do like the auto play if you're just sitting on the video. I don't know, bro. But as soon as I click on it, he basically says the gameplay feels just exactly the same. But everything around the gameplay, which is what I said with the franchise. But like I mentioned, everything about the gameplay, around the actually playing the game itself, things I played, but just generally movements that I couldn't necessarily feel from playing like what five six games that I played but just generally speaking it felt a lot similar to Madden 21 but like I mentioned everything about the gameplay around the actually playing the game itself completely different love the new play art love the new play calling screens the stadium atmosphere is sick the sounds are sick the stadium characteristics are sick new scoreboard sick everything around like just the UI in general is sick 
It's just the gameplay as of right now. Now, I have no idea if the gameplay is finalized or they have a lot more additions they're going to do from now to the game is actually launched. It sounds like you're being honest. At the same time, to me. all I can tell you is what I experienced. It sounds like you're being pretty honest. The gameplay feels exactly the same. Now, the question is, did everything. He said it feels exactly added, the like, same. New play art screens, it's everything new, like the stadium atmosphere, everything I've already listed. Does them adding all that counteract that the gameplay is about the same? That's up to you. To me, it feels definitely like I'm playing a brand new game until you actually get into where you're playing the football. You know what I'm saying? So I guess it just really depends on what you're looking for. And like I said, there's still plenty of time for them to tweak the gameplay a little bit, but it did feel a lot like 95% similar with new animations to Madden 21 gameplay. Last thing, like I said, I really do like the stadium characteristics. I know it's kind of weird knowing that there's home field advantage each and every game. Like even the lines get squiggly like instantly football bro that gave me such all right i think i've seen enough i think i've seen enough uh, uh i'm looking forward to the gameplay uh, man 22 gameplay exposed oh you already know, you know ryan moody about to be on it played mad for any late time to do nodding when you're immediately in the middle section of the field this is a constant issue ea has example i showed from it play title like madden yeah ryan moody be on it man as far as <laughs> criticizing madden i ain't gonna cut but hey that's it that's all i got i ain't, I ain't gonna um... and if a rookies react to their madden ratings oh this came out four weeks ago hold on i'll check this out before i get on my madden rating would be probably a little lower than people would give me credit for, but I don't know, maybe like 85. Oh no. They would low ball me. To be honest, I, I think my Madden rating is going to be like a 78 through an 81. Of course, just because, you know, rookies. I think my rookie Madden rating will be 88. Because uh, I can do a lot of things. They wildin'. They, they don't play Madden then. I ain't going to cap. Because when uh you went somewhere where auto play. Oh, for real? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So I missed it. Yeah, they wildin'. Because, uh, they don't. They don't give rookies that high. That high rating than Madden. Who's the Who's the most recently like highest rated rookie? I think Chase Young had like an 80, 82. Joe Burrow or something like that had like an eighty one. My Madden rating should be a ninety because it's like okay, but it's not great because I haven't done anything yet. So they don't. None of them play Madden. Rug seventy six. I think it was Chase Young or Burrow that, that was in the eighties. If I was to guess my Madden ranking, my rookie. It was a receiver who had an 80, I think, not too long ago. I'm surprised Reds had a 76. You know? I'm going to be humble, say about 75, 78, okay. 80, around there. Uh, he, he, was, he was cool with the 75, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie, I watch Javon highlights. Javon is nice, but I don't think they're going to give him, I don't think they'll give him anything in the 80s. Javon nice though, for sure. I take 84. Hundred. Wildin' wildin'. Hopefully everybody likes me and you know I get some favoritism there and I think my rookie Madden rating will be 75, 78. I Reasonable. Hey Pete nice. I ain't got a lot. Pete nice. Realistically, I, I say 87 just cause Realistically. I'm elusive. I don't know. Wildin'. I don't know. They're stingy with those. I'm gonna say 85. Wildin'. Game around 70. 71. But Nasa, well, look at you, man. Even though he he gonna be higher than that for sure. But that tells me you play Madden. Just cause you know how they. Or some of the some of them might they hands, might just be hyping themselves really up, like strolling. Uh, because my hands, you know, my route running. So I think my rookie Madden rating would be a 75. For me, I thought it's a good starting out number. Uh, my speed should be up there. A speed shouldn't be no less than a 94. Start, Tra start Travis like, fast like 70, that? 70, 76, 75, 76. Aziz cool. And from there, it'll be going up. I think my rookie Madden rating is gonna be a, a 73. Uh Why Greg Newsom built like this? Like, bro just built like he just, he must have just got done working out. 73 though, solid. Uh, just because, you know, they're a lot conservative with rookies. I think my Madden rookie rating will be 74 because they always start the rookie. Okay, low, okay, okay. Like we got some dudes who play Madden. So, so you sure. But, you know, once I start playing, it's going to go up. So Joe Tryon. I know what it's going to be right off the bat. I know it's going to go up. 
for sure, for sure. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, it started it started off kind of kind of wild, but then the, I say that the pretty much second half of the video that was pretty it was pretty smooth. I ain't gonna lie, that was pretty smooth. This whole video, I, I ain't capping. You know, that's how I just being, you know, what I'm saying you just being real. That's all. Put the MMG video. What are you talking about? You done messed up, AA Ron. Hey, yeah. Hall. Man of month more. I walk with the Lord. Gotta be careful what you say because your tongue is a sore. Why you speaking what I think? And ain't no.